is the season for retro gaming, with titles like Gran Turismo, Metal Gear Solid, Crash Bandicoot, and Tekken 3, we can enjoy hours of retro gaming. Hi guys, welcome back. On today's episode, I'm going to show you how to install the Duck Station PlayStation emulator. I'll show you the installation, setup, and all the prime settings to make your PlayStation games look great. Next, on the Ultimate Tech Hub. So guys, this is the PlayStation emulator called Duck Station. And we've been gaming on this for about five months. And before that, I used BizHawk and Zebra to play PS1 games. However, Duck Station's video enhancements make this the best PS1 emulator ever. And for one simple reason. The ability to play the original PlayStation games in 4K. So let's start with the installation, then the basic setup, and lastly, I will show you how to set the video enhancements to 4K or 2K or whatever video resolution you want. Let's start with the installation and you'll need three things. The Duck Station software, the PlayStation BIOS, and lastly, some PlayStation ROM games. The Duck Station emulator will only play bin files, so keep that in mind when you rip your CD games to your computer. First thing, create a folder on your desktop. Name it whatever you want. I named mine PlayStation 1. Next, let's get the software from GitHub. And the link will be in the description below. Download the correct zip file for your system. And save that zip file on your new desktop folder. Now extract the files. Now create a new folder and call it BIOS. So now do an internet search for PlayStation BIOS. You want to download the SCPH1001 bin file for your BIOS. Next, put that file into the BIOS folder. Now create a game folder and add your PS1 ROM games. And remember, they have to be bin files. Now let's go ahead and start the emulator. We're going to use the DuckStation QT file. When you run this for the first time, you may need to update the software. Okay, now that you've launched the application and updated the software, this is how the Duck Station emulator looks. Now this can be intimidating, but the majority of changes I'll show you today will be in the settings tab. So first, there are two things we need to change. First is the BIOS path location. So go to the BIOS tab and use the browse button to navigate to your new BIOS folder. Okay, now go to controller settings. We need to map our controller. For this example, I'm going to map an Nvidia Shield controller. But just a heads up, I've also mapped an Xbox controller as well. And it's the same process. You want to map the directional buttons first, like up, down, left, and right. Then the select and start button. Then your triangle, cross, circle, and square. And then L1, L2, R1, R2. And you can do your axis bindings as well at the bottom. And lastly, you can save your profile. And I'll go ahead and save it. So now let's go ahead and start our first game. So guys, before we start our first game, let's go to the enhancement settings. And you want to make sure your minimum video settings is 720p at four times. This will be your baseline setting for all games. And make sure to watch till the end of this video. And I'll show you my prime settings that you can use for all the PS1 games, and they'll look great. And it's important to remember that these games were not meant to be played in 4K. However, there are games that look good in 4K, but many of the games do not. They look kind of choppy and distorted. And the last setting is display settings. The default setting is 4x3, but you can set it to 16x9 if you want. Just remember, this setting will stretch the screen. I prefer playing in the original 4x3, but I'm kind of old-fashioned that way. Okay, now that we've dialed in all our settings, we're ready to go. So the first game we're going to try is Crash Bandicoot 2, one of my favorites from back in the day. So go up to the left to start disk, and go to your game folder. And like I said before, these have to be bin files. Okay, now I'm going to show you some quick gameplay. And like I said, this is the stock video settings. This is one of the games that plays better at stock settings. I've tried it in 4K and 2K, but it just doesn't look very good.
Now let's go ahead and play Gran Turismo 2. And we'll play it in different video settings. So this video setting is a 720. And this setting looks pretty decent. But I'm going to change this to 1080p. It should be a big improvement. And the 1080p looks a lot better. Definitely more crisp. Now I'm going to change this to 1440p and see if I can improve the quality. Well, 1440 looks slightly better. It's not a huge improvement, that's for sure. But better. So now we're going to try this in 2K. We're pushing the limits here. Wow, this looks really good. I'm really surprised on how well this looks. It's amazing. For a game that came out in 1999, it holds up well in 2K. And just a heads up, we tried to play this in 4K and it didn't work. But that's okay, it looks great in 2K. Now let's go ahead and start Tekken 3, and we'll go through all the video settings as well. Round one, fight. Okay, the first setting is 720. This definitely brings back memories. It looks exactly the same as it did in 1997. Let's try a better setting. Like 1080p. Okay, this is 1080p. And it's starting to look a lot better. I'm looking forward to seeing the 1440p. Okay, this is the 1440p. It's looking better and better. Now we're going to try 4K and see how that looks. Well guys, this is 4K. And it looks pretty good. Considering this game was made in 1997, I'm surprised it holds up well in 4K. It's not perfect, but it looks pretty good. I think the best setting for this game is 1440p or 1080p. And like I said before, you can pause the game, go to video enhancements, change the resolution, and change the 16.9 in display settings if you want, and then go right back into the game. And for me, that's one of the best features of Duck Station. Now let's go ahead and go back to the settings, and I'll show you the prime settings that you can use for all PlayStation games. So first go to settings, and then enhancement settings, and we're gonna set the internal resolution to 1440p, and then the multi-sample to eight times, and the texture filtering, and we're gonna use XBR. And if you wanna change the screen to 16.9, go ahead and go to display settings. And you can also set the game to start in full screen. Okay, we're all done. Now shut it down. And now we're going to launch the game from the Duck Station SDL app. And to me, this looks way better. And whatever changes you make to the settings will affect both the QT app and the SDL app. So I recommend always playing the SDL app. So guys, use my prime settings to play all your PlayStation games. You can definitely experiment with 2K and 4K, but many of the PlayStation games will not look good in those settings. That's why I wanted to show you my prime settings. And as far as getting your ROMs, it's totally up to you where you get them, whether you burn them from a CD you own, or you find them online. Well guys, we're all done here. And I want to thank you for watching. And please remember to visit our Patreon page. We have memberships for $2 a month. And that $2 a month helps keep this channel going. 
And remember guys, if you like this video, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love it, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. Thanks again for watching.